Okay, so now that we've got our app up and running, um, we want to install another two packages. Um, the first one is going to be Mongoose, um, so it's going to allow us to connect to our MongoDB. And the second one is going to be um, .env, so that's going to allow us to create variables um, which we can use in different environments, so for dev and for production. Um, so if we open up our root folder, if you haven't exited out of the uh, server yet, you want to do Control C, so that would stop it from run, running. And now we want to do npm install mongoose hyphen hyphen save. And then npm install dot env hyphen hyphen save. Great. Um, so if we go back to our project, I'm just going to open this up full screen. We want to firstly write in a constant for um, mongoose. So we do require mongoose. We then want to do require.env. And we want to use conf the config uh, method. And we want to do a object. We do path. And then we want to do path. We want to name the file that we're going to be calling the variables. So variables. Env. And of course, we're going to need to create this um, file in our root. So if we just do new file variables env, <coughs> if we go back to this, we just want to do mongoose dot connect. Then we want to do process dot env dot mongo uri. Then we want to do dot then the bracket console dot log db connected. And then if there's an error, we want to catch the error, so we can do um, a catch. Error. Function. Do console error actually. I'm going to post the error. So this is just going to connect to our database using um, the variable that's come in from the um, and, uh, the pros uh, the variables .end file. But we haven't set this up yet. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to actually set up our MongoDB. To do that, we want to go to a website called MLab. Dot com and we're going to want to sign up or log in if you've got an account And in this section here, you want to go to create new after you've signed up, of course. And then click sandbox. Click continue down the right. Select which location is relevant to you. Continue. Call the database something relevant. I'm going to call it. Um, React. 
Well, so we'll continue. Submit order. And I'm going to click into here. Um, it's still working on it, so it might take a few minutes. Then I'm going to click Users, Add Database User. I'm going to make a user. I'm going to call it Graph SQL Project. I'm going to name the password the same. Then I'm going to click create. And now I'm going to take this code up here underneath here. I'm going to copy it, open up Sublime, save that file. I'm going to go into my variables, I'm going to do mongo, so we're going to use this variable name, underscore uri equals, and then I'm going to paste this, click save, click save. Then I'm going to go back to my terminal window, and I'm going to do npm um, run server. And it's thrown an error. So to use the new parser, pass option to a Mongo Connect client. Um, I'm just going to go to Google. I'm going to search what this issue is. <coughs> okay, so if we go back here, I'm going to do a comma and then I'm going to open an object up, save, and let's see if that resolves it. So it says authentication failed. Ah, yeah, but if you look here, I haven't um, added the username and password that I just created. So if we just go back, see my user, I named it React GraphQL. Save that. Exit out, try it again. And there we go. We've connected to the database. Um, I know we came across a couple of problems, but I like to keep the problems in there so you see how I resolve them. And um, yeah, hopefully um, that helped you out a bit and we can move on to the next tutorial.